Hi, it's Lenneke from Landscrafty Life and you may remember this is the entrance to my craft room and over there is the kitchen and this is update number 11, I think. And finally, we've been in for a year now. It's a big mess, but for a very, very good reason. I'm gonna get my window in on Monday. Yes, finally, it's happening. So you can see here, the tables have been painted. Of course, when the window is in, sometime during next week, I'll do another update. But uh, you can see a little bit, these tables were brown, the chairs were brown. I had this beautiful fabric. Some of them have been upholstered already. This is actually my standing desk, which is actually an ordinary dining table. But I've got these plastic thingies, which are behind here now. You can see them there. These plastic thingies that I put them on. So it is a raised desk. So this is my crafting desk. There hence the lamps on both sides. That's my sewing desk, which I have not painted yet these are new cabinets which are great still need to paint them white they actually go underneath my standing desk and here you can see how the chairs turned out now i still have to pick up the last eight but these were brown chairs with kind of like a, a very dirty linen um uh, cloth on it how do you say and this was the beautiful fabric that I picked out, these, I think it's gorgeous. They have been painted all white. It's a matte white. And also the back has been done. There you go. So I'm really happy about that. Turned out beautiful, I think. And this is another one of the tables that has been painted white. Now I do work from home. So uh, I do intend to give workshops in this room. Not in the current state, obviously, but hence my computer is there and my chair for my work is there. So that will go. I have to take that out whenever I do workshops here. So normally, I'm sorry, I hope I'm not moving too fast. Normally, this standing desk will go, turn slowly, 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 slowly over there below the window that is going to be there next week yay so excited so whenever i'm crafting i'll overlook a gorgeous garden we have a really beautiful garden and that's my little doggy rosie <laughs> she always likes to stand on things that are she thinks are soft normally it's clothes but now it's plastic and the plastic is there because i have to cover all my you know all the mess that's still out here my desk the computer have to cover it all that's what i'm doing now uh, to cover it all so that hopefully there won't be too much dust on it when it's all done. So the standing desk will go in that corner with my vintage suitcases below it. There's Christmas craft stuff in that, like papers and ribbons and, you know, all sorts of stuff. So that goes underneath my standing desk. The cabinets go underneath my standing desk. I've got... Um, some sprays in there, different brands, some Lindy, some uh, Tattered Angels. And this is actually quite handy. You can put some stuff on here as well. You know, and there's it's Mod Podge and glues and paints, which I, to be honest, I hardly ever use. And this is other paints, which is in there. So that's all organized. And then that table which you can't see because there's so much stuff on it this table and the other white table with my computer on it normally they are standing in the middle and i can seat about 14 people here for workshops well that's definitely maxed because you know they're quite long tables two meters which is over three yards and it's um, 90 centimeters, which is one yard wide. So there's three on each side of one table. So that makes 12 and on the hat and the other hat of the table can be another chair. 
So that's my other desk with my die cutting machines actually, which I still need to sort out. I still need to sort this out. I'm collecting too much rubbish basically and papers that I think, oh, I can craft with that. I can make journal covers out of these paper bags and paper envelopes. So I've got way too much of that. So no, I'm not done yet. And here, hopefully, um, from the fabric that I have the chairs upholstered with, hopefully there is enough left over to make like a curtain over there. Now, I decided not to put doors on those cupboards. I do have some doors for them, but I won't be able to cover that, to open the doors when my standing desk is standing here. I only have about 30 centimeters, so one third of a yard to open them and the doors are actually wider so I won't be able to get to it so I do want to put like a um a window a curtain before these that's why I have this put in this little hook and a hook over there so there will be a bar with a curtain hanging to make it nice and tidy now my husband still has to remove this lamp it's actually a lamp to go above a dining table but I think it's perfect above my standing desk and here is the door to the garden let me just show you a little bit not much is uh flowering at the moment um the dahlias you may remember that i put in uh most of them didn't uh were eaten basically so uh, a bit of a disappointment some didn't come out well so this is our garden with the garden sheds you may remember now these are some dahlias that came out these big ones finally yay ta-ta here's one beautiful Let's see if i can get in focus there so really happy with that those are some hydrangeas and they're supposed to be these white ones they're supposed to be strawberry um and vanilla vanilla strawberry hydrangeas but they turned out white and here you can may remember that I put in some, um, I had these made for my vegetable garden, my vegetable patch. So this is actually pumpkin, no pumpkins yet, but you can see the yellow flowers over there. That will be pumpkin, some lettuce, most of my lettuce is growing too large now. Most of my lettuce was eaten as well. These are all tomatoes cherry tomatoes you can see some over there which will be great i had to put this netting on because really everything was eaten i don't know by slugs by insects i don't know this is um a zucchini i've got here and there will be another little garden shed over there as well this coming week which will be my garden garden shed because my so I'll keep garden stuff in there because that one, they're, they're nice, but they're really small. It houses all my garden stuff um, as well as three bikes and you can hardly get the bikes in and out. So we did want the bikes to be covered in winter because it rains a lot and otherwise, you know, your bikes will be done with within about two years. So um, this is all stuff to go underneath my fourth or the fourth garden shed, that little bed over there. Yes, I have a bed in my garden. It's a little children's bed and I still have to, it's supposed to be like a, a little bench, but I have to put a different screws in so it holds up well. I've got some mice or corn over there. Here I'm actually, yes, these are nettles, but you can, they're very healthy to make nettle tea. So to me, they're not a weed like, um, Dandelion greens are very healthy. So I kept those in. Got some <laughs> massive lettuce that I should have eaten a long time ago. I got some beets. By the way, I got some carrots as well over there. And this is some corn that is kind of growing here. So I'm really pleased with that. Not everything grew. And um, here's my husband doing some hard work to get that all sorted out for a little garden shed. So 
there you go thought i'd give you an update on that as well sorry I can, i'm not able to show you any more dahlias i had one more that flowered but that already died that's where my husband's jacuzzi is over there i'm not a jacuzzi fan but he loves it so this will be the window so yeah, you can see it, it looks like a window there but that's a mirror actually behind these grapes these were put in by the previous owner i can show you some grapes there you go right here lots of grapes so i have to cut this back tomorrow because the day after tomorrow on monday the guy will be coming to make my beautiful window here and here you enter the craft room again so there you go little update and i will keep you posted on how it's going and especially after it's finished hope to be able to show you a pretty window yay okay have a great day thanks for watching bye bye